Okay, good evening, everyone. I am Hashimika. Swadika. My name is Tho Phan Ke Vishukun, or you can call me Ploy, and I'm from Thailand. So I would like to introduce more about myself. So I was born in Pisanulok, like the lower northern part of Thailand, and I stayed there until like the secondary school, and I moved to Nakhola Sima, which is like the eastern part of Thailand, where I study university there. I study in Sulanali University of Technology and majoring in electrical engineering. Now you might be wondering why I'm sharing this to you guys. Well, it's because I want to inspire the students, especially those from the countryside, to believe in themselves and they're enough to deem big, like, for example, studying abroad. No matter where you form or what other people say, just believe in yourself, the world of possibility waiting for you to like beyond your, the border of your hometown. Just believe in yourself and give, give it a try. And today I will cover three topics, which is the first one, academic life, second, culture experience and exciting activities, three, the third one is what I learned and how this exchange year shaped me. So the first thing in uh, academic life, I noticed like some big difference compared to my home university. One of the main thing is the opportunity to work on variety of projects that are directly related what, to what I'm learning. I have to use a lot of like programming and simulation, and now I'm constantly learning new programs and techniques. Here I'm finding myself reading more textbook and also research paper to better understanding and check out to the project that I'm working on. This wasn't something that I had to do when I'm back to my home university because there we didn't like focus about programming or simulation in MATLAB. So overall this exchange years has incredibly educational for me. I have learned so many things and I know that this will benefit my future study and careers. And this is my research life. I have joined in Advanced Power Electronics and System Lab. So my, my lab is about like, uh, we, in real life we have so many kind of source, for example, renewable source, uh, battery or our grids, which provide like different kind of power and different level of power. And also in real life, we have so many load, like different load, for example, electrical vehicle, energy sector, like our home or like our school, and also electronic device, which consume different type of power and also different level of power. So, okay. So what my lab does is to study power processor like DC to DC, AC to DC, or DC to AC, whatever, like, yeah, and also study about the controller to control the system to be stable. So as you see in the power processor part, it's gonna be circuit like converter, and about the controller, we divide it into part, like analog, we maybe use like op M or in digital, we use coding, and what, my project about is DAB converter, we call it dual active pitch converter. So dual active pitch converter is DC to DC conversion. Now why is the why is DAB converter important? Because with the increasing use of renewable energy and electrical vehicle, we need a better ways to manage power. The DAB converter is like a battery that can be both charged and discharged. This makes it really useful in the field of renewable energy and electrical vehicles, where storing and providing energy is crucial. So the objective of doing this project is the first thing to understanding how the AB converter works, and second is to design a controller to control the system to automatically adapt when load and source, source change by using PI controller, where I have to do three controller V loop, I loop, and V I loop. So the first step is to study the operation of like DAB circuit. And the second step is to create DAB simulation to prove that what I understanding is correct. And this is our result. 
and it does take it to study on trapezoid modulation. Trapezoid modulation is the modulation to make the circuit to be more effective. Uh, we assign like each signal to control each MOSFET. So as you see, this modulation can reduce ripple of IC. So if we re reduce ripple of IC, which means we reduce like power loss, so it's more effective. And the first step is to decide code loop, the AB converter. Uh, we have to do like mathematic mathematical first. I use some more signal approach to model the circuit and you and find like the plan to decide controller box. And this is our result. As you see, like when load change and we saw change, the system try to like stable at voltage of 200 and when I change the reference voltage, the system can also reach the reference that I give. And now I am working on it on like VI controller or two loop. My expectation to do on this is like to reduce overshoot and undershoot and also reduce settling time. And let's move on to the second part which is culture experience and exciting activity. So the first thing is corporate citizenship class. So I have done like the project with uh, one member from Hong Kong and one member from Korea. And we did the project under the theme of enhance the image and recognition of POSCO and secure the future talent in Thailand. The second thing is Korean class. Actually, we study Korean with Miss Korn, but I didn't have picture with her. And this is cooking class where we made kimbap and bulgogi by ourselves. And this is Busan Tip. We joined Phi Asia Conference and uh, Busan International Film Festival. And this is the, like, the most exciting activities, which is key camp. Of course, I fall down a lot, but it's very good experience and memories. And this one is the last trip that POSCO and POSTEC provided for us, which is Jongju trip. Uh, it is at first like temple stay where we stay at the temple and do meditation. And we end up our trip with Jongju Wo, which is like amusement park, so contest. And the third thing is about uh, what I learned and how this exchange year shaped me. So the first thing that I got from this is exploring and understanding myself more. Besides studying hard at Postec and taking part in the activity organized by POSCO and Postec, I have a chance to explore Korea, traveling to different city within with my friends, which is very amazing like experience. Throughout this trip, I have learned a lot of things, and I think I discovered like many things. And aside from that, at Postec, apart from a PES lab, I also joined in another lab, where there I have done the presentation about Thailand power system and Thai Thailand pathway to achieve carbon neutrality, which this experience like made me recognize that maybe I'm not interested in the field of power electronic that much. Maybe I am interested in uh, sustainable, sustainable energy more. So maybe I will shift to this field in the future. And one of the most important thing that I learned is like learning to accept mistakes and failures at opportunities for good instead of letting them define like self-worth. Uh, it's like everyone can make mistake. I recognize that making a mistake is okay. So we have to learn from them and trying to improve ourselves and not making like the same mistake again. And of course, I know more people from around the world and more self-care. I cannot imagine myself going to gym and pay attention to apply skincare or do makeup. And also like I dress up more. So. Thank you for listening.